everybody. It is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures. How are y'all doing? Um, I know it's been a while since I've uh, come on live, but I've been really busy. You know, I had the witch party and um, what else do we have? Uh, my son had a doctor's appointment today and then we're going to Florida this weekend. So it's been busy, busy, but I hope that you guys can see and hear me okay. If somebody could let me know, that'd be great. Yay, Tam's here and going on Grumpy. There's an echo. Is it echoing bad? Hmm. Let me turn this down and see if that helps. So, and hey, Bonnie's here. So I want to say hi in the chat. Let me scroll up. Crafty reseller. Hello. Okay, good, good. Thanks, Steph. Um, okay. So I want to say hi to Barb going on Grumpy and Steven Steph resale killers are here and Kathy Earls and KM Riggs 100 and Sherry the cheerful nest and Natasha Lee that's Deb and Tammy talks hello and Angie's here hey Angie treasured vintage and Mary Mullinex hello everybody um, I hope I got everybody Let's see, Mariposa's Gifts, hello. And Debbie Porter's here, hey. And Lonnie, hey Lonnie, Garage Flips is here. And Trish Harvey, hi. And Brittany Fleming, hello. Um, let's see. Brittany Fleming, where do you live at? Um, let's see. And Karen's at the beach, hey guys. Hi, Denise. Okay, so you guys, um, I got a jewelry jar yesterday morning. Here it is. Um, I paid $19.99 for it. But I also got some individual jewelry that I've been picking up. So I wanted to show you guys both of them. And I was going to open this jewelry jar tonight and I thought, why not do a video on it? <laughs> so um, I just can't wait very long after I get it. So um which one do you guys want to see first <laughs> uh km riggs is asking where bonnie is located she's in norway not norway in the netherlands right am i right bonnie i hope i'm right i think the netherlands so yeah so we're going to disney so i gotta show you guys my nails i just got them done this morning so look aren't they cute so she did white polka dots on this one and um, a little Mickey Mouse head on that one. So I love to go get my nails done. And then tomorrow when my daughter gets out of school, she has an appointment too. So we're gonna go get um, her nails done and a pedicure as well. Okay, so <clears throat> here's at the beach says individual pieces. So that's what I'm gonna start with. Thanks Barb. Um, so I picked up a hand, you know, I have so many of these hands. I just love them and when I see them I have to pick them up and this this glass is like reminiscent of some of that vintage glass that you see but I've never seen one in the shape of a hand so it was $2.99 and it's really interesting I'll probably like a lot of times um, I have them sit here on my desk and they'll just like hold my glasses and stuff or jewelry pieces so yeah $2.99 I had to pick that up Thanks, Andy. She said she likes my nails. Um, and let's be happy thrifters joining us. Hello. Okay. Ne okay, Bonnie says the Netherlands. Okay. <laughs> I was kind of right. Norway, Netherlands. <laughs> but I did say Netherlands too. So, um, yay. And Trish Harvey is here. Hello. Okay, so the individual pieces I got. <clears throat> um, I got these two pieces yesterday morning and this one is a JJ and I love this it's so cute it's the gold tone with the kitty cat and he's reaching his little paw in there trying to get the goldfish <laughs> so I might keep this one it's just so stinking cute I love it and then let's see where's the uh, hallmark there on the back I don't know if you can see it says uh, JJ right there So, um, oh, thanks, Tam. She says she likes my hair down. Thank you. Yeah, I don't really do my hair that often. 
I don't really have oily hair, so I really, I know it sounds gross, but I really only wash my hair like every three days. <laughs> and then, you know, like by day three, it's a hat day. So today's day one. So um, let's see what else I got. Oh yeah, and this is the other piece. This one is marked Torino. I hope I'm saying that right. So it's a lady with a um, little hat on. And then there's the mark there. Let's see. But yeah, it says Torino. So I thought that was interesting. Yeah, this one's um, JJ. Let's be happy thrifter. This one might be my favorite one out of all the indiv individual pieces I'm showing you guys. Angie says the same thing about her hair right now. All right, I might be fibbing. I might even stretch it to four days. <laughs> So like days three and four are definitely had days. <laughs> um, okay, so then this morning I got this and I love this. It's so cute. It's a red cardinal, but it's I'm pretty sure it's a bookmark. But and there 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 are no markings on it, but it was just so pretty. I thought I'd keep it for myself. And um, you know, I'm just attracted to the sparkly blingy things. <laughs> three days gross, Lonnie. Oh, be quiet. Seriously, my hair is like, I, I don't have oily hair at all. Plus, I'm a big fan of the dry shampoo. You guys, any of you ladies use the dry shampoo? Dry shampoo is amazing. Uh, I bet you Candace does it too, and you don't even know it. <laughs> well, I don't know. Candace has short hair. When you have longer hair, it's hard to wash every single day. It's time consuming. Hey, Susan Redmond's here. Hello. How are you? Oh, I bet you you look cute in a hat. <laughs> Okay, let me get some scissors. <clears throat> so yeah, I picked up a lot of individual pieces this morning. I was going to get another jewelry jar this morning, but somebody beat me to it um, and forewarned me whenever I got there. What do you do? You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Um, so look at this cute little doggy. It's a little wiener dog. And I'm almost certain he didn't have any marks on him. There's the backside. But it was so stinking cute. I had to pick it up. Isn't he cute? He's got a little emerald green uh, rhinestone for an eye. Yeah. Super cute little fella. And then I got a... Um, I call these marlin fish or... Uh, Maybe I'm wrong, a swordfish. And this one is marked Jerry's. And he's real cute. I couldn't leave him behind, you guys. Oh gosh, we're still talking about the hair washing. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, and then there it is on the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a Jerry's uh, fish brooch, so that was really cute. Hey, Belinda. All right. And this one's kind of appropriate for what's about to go down. I got this one, a Walt Disney Mickey Mouse little pin. There's the back side. I was looking for a year on it. It seems like it didn't have a year. Cause I had my loop with me when I bought it. it just says Disney made in Taiwan I don't even know if it's that old I found one um, similar to it it sold for about I think it sold for about 15 so <laughs> yes hey Carla princess casserole is here she says Jerry's has so many cute figure old brooches and they do definitely Hey, Aaron Marcus, I don't know why your stream stopped. Maybe refresh? Still says I'm live. No stream? You guys can't see me? Can y'all see me? I hope. Um, Joe Panico is here. Hello. He says the last fish one you called a marlin or a swordfish are not correct. It looks 
very much like a sailfish. Okay. Thank you for correcting me. I appreciate that. Okay, Barb says, hey, Tanya, fix your satellite. What? Okay, Steve and Steph say they see me fine. Let me check. I'm on the right, uh, what do you call it? Oh, goodness, now I'm going to forget what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm on my house internet. It's not the free one that comes up often. So I'm on the right one. Must be a regional thing. You can see me okay, Lonnie, and hear me? Treasure Hustlers, hello. They say that I'm fine in Cali. That's great. Glad you can see me and hear me. Okay, so here is a little Roadrunner. He also has a cute little green emerald eye. And he is in a hurry, y'all. He is booking it somewhere. He is running. Okay, and let me see. And he is also marked. I'm pretty sure he's also marked Jerry's. Yeah. So he is marked Jerry's right there. And he's sweet. Again, if I can't get very much for these, I'm just going to end up keep, uh, keeping them and uh, either craft with them or put them on my lamp so I can, my lampshade so I can look at them all the time. Hey, Barry, Five Day Flipper is here. Hello. Now, these earrings are interesting. I paid, um, I paid $1.99 for these, and they just looked different. So, of course, I had to pick them up. And let's see, and they are clip earrings. And here is the front, what they look like. And then here's the backside. So as you can see, it's marked. And it says, I'm probably going to chop this all up. It says La Combe. It's L-A-C-O-M-B-E, I believe. And it says 1988. So I looked these up, you guys, after I bought them. Uh, and... Wait, let me. And I feel like uh, I can definitely probably get about $25 for these. So I will definitely not be listing these until probably next week. But yeah, I'd never even heard of this brand before. So they're really interesting, really different. Have y'all ever heard of that brand before? Hi, Carol's Gift Shop. And Red Neckerson's Resales, Nathan is here. Hello, Nathan. <laughs> I ain't that much of a youngin. <laughs> I'm an olden, Nathan. <laughs> Be quiet, Barb. <laughs> okay, so that's all my individual pieces. All right, now we're gonna get into the jar, you guys. So let me move all this other stuff. I think I'm gonna have to move my keyboard from my desktop. And I'm so upset. I left three packages here today, you guys. And if you're um, in the jewelry group, uh, Thrifty Jewelry Treasures, I'm so sorry. Your packages were supposed to be mailed this morning and I accidentally left them here. I went to the post office, I had my bag ready to go. And I got there to put them in that turn bin. And I was like, wait, there's only like three packages here. Where are my other ones? So I will definitely get those. Actually, I'm going back to the um, back that way this evening, so I'll mail those. And here I am just rambling, talking out loud again, feeling hot all of a sudden. Let me tell my son to turn the air down. Hang on, y'all. I don't want to scream in your ear. Uh, I'm going to mute me for one second. Okay, I hope you guys can hear me. I mean, I might even be breaking a sweat. It's real hot in here all of a sudden. I'm so lazy, I'm going to text him because I don't think he heard me. Um, hang on, y'all. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh. Um, I wish Deb was here. We're chit chatting and I don't think this is her dog, but this is funny. It says, just watch my dog try to eat a lemon. Look at this picture. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Oh, I forgot to show you something else. So I got this too this morning. Isn't it cute? It was so interesting. I couldn't leave it behind. And I'm pretty sure he's probably from the 60s looking at those shoes and his pants and his whole little get up there. He's got those big eyes. <laughs> You're funny. Let's be happy, thrifter. Um, yeah, and you're cute, but and I didn't, I looked it up on eBay, but I didn't do a ton of research, but I didn't find anything right off the bat. Oh, Dwayne's here. I need to scroll up. Hey, Dwayne. Oh, let me write that down. Trish Harvey says, uh, the earrings are Amy Lacombe, Lacombe. I'm sure I'm chopping that up. Let me write that down. Because you know I always got pen and paper handy. Oh. Amy Lacombe. All right. Seriously. Um, I am missing a lot of a lot here in the chat. Oh, yeah, I'm excited about the jar. That's why I'm sweating. <laughs> I was so upset when I missed the jar this morning. Oh, my goodness. But that's okay. I can't be I can't be like that, right? I should be happy and thankful that I got one yesterday morning and um, not be greedy. That's why I save them for moments like this morning. When that happens, I, I have a jar to go home to and open. It's all good. The crazy card Mike is here. Hello. Um, all right, Tam. I know you want that wiener dog brooch, but I like it too. <laughs> there, I answer, Barb. Uh, Dwayne says that the picture looks like a blonde Donny Osmond. It does kind of, huh? He's cute. I don't know. I might keep him. Put him on the wall. What do you guys think? He's cute. I'm probably going to keep him. Okay. Oh, my Lord. Shut the front door. Silver hair stacker is in the house. Hey, Todd. How's it going? Okay. I keep getting distracted. Yes. Back to the jar. I love them anyway, 22. Welcome. Yes, uh, Treasure Hustler says, yeah, an, an artist, they made a movie about her paintings called Big Eyes, I believe. Yeah, it's um, Margaret, I think her name is Margaret something. Um, I want to say it starts with a K. Um, drawing a blank for her last name, but yeah. And I saw that special. I watched a little bit. You can watch it on YouTube too. Uh, Lonnie says that kid is horrible. Please sell it. Bring back the owl. You're so funny. I was thinking about uh, maybe fitting that big cow picture. This is going to be like a seasonal wall behind me. So I'm not sure what to do for November, but you know, for uh, December, I'm going to decorate it up with all kinds of fun Christmas stuff. I love Christmas. Christmas. Oh yeah. Dwayne says Margaret Keen. I think Keen or something like that. Yes. So see, I was close. Her um, last name starts with a K. Yeah. Hello, Marina Kelly. Welcome and hey, Julie. Yeah, I've I've uh, bought her stuff before too. You're not the only one who likes my owl. Uh, Terry Berry said something about my owl too before. I know, I do need to uh, work on not keeping almost everything I find. <laughs> okay, the jar. So here it is, you guys. I'm about to open it up. And I'm gonna pour it in here. And 
it is looking beady, that's for sure. Lots of beads. Um, very beachy, very beachy. Hi, Catherine Dahmer. Um, Karen said the beach says yes, and Margaret the artist, her husband was a rat. I'm trying to remember if I was, I meant to watch the documentary or if I actually did. I think I meant to. I think I've talked about this before. Um, I had another one of her pieces with that little girl. It was a little girl standing there. I've, I've sold a couple of her things in my booth before. So I've talked about it on my channel before. And I think a viewer told me that you can watch the documentary about her on YouTube. So, um, and speaking of stuff like that, I heard on the radio today, I listen to NPR sometimes when I'm driving around and I guess, um, oh, what's that, uh, Antique Rose Show usually comes on on Monday nights, but tonight they are going to be doing some kind of a, a special, like, I don't know if it was the best of the best, but something's going on on PBS tonight. And I remember thinking I wanted to watch it. So you guys have to check that out. If I remember, I'll put a link to the show, um, a link to the show. Uh, I guess uh, a reminder about it coming on, what it's going to be about. I'm just rambling on, you know what I'm saying. Um, Kate Ann Riggs says, yes, didn't they make a movie about Margaret? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a documentary, I believe. Maybe a movie too. I don't know. Hey, Heather Smith, reseller. Welcome. And Trish Harvey says, yes, it was called Big Eyes. Now I'm all interested. Anyway, here is a pretty little red uh, necklace with those puka looking shells. It's an interesting little toggle clasp on it. All right, move away shells. We need to find some good stuff. Oh my goodness, y'all. We have a Jonas Brothers necklace. I know y'all all want that. Okay, I am not impressed so far. Here we have a stretchy, stretchy bracelet. We have a Disney Camp Rock. Oops, something just went flying. Oh, y'all hush. You hear my dogs growling? Coco's really grouchy. So, little, like, dog tag style necklace. <laughs> Dwayne says, show your eyes, Angie. Stretch alert. <laughs> what is going on with my hair? Okay, that's not creepy at all. My husband just texted and said, I see you. <laughs> I see you too. Another stretchy bracelet. Jeez, I should have looked at this jar. Sometimes I, don't, I go for like weeks without finding a jar. And then when I find one, I'm like, mine, mine. <laughs> I don't care if there's beads in it. I need it. Um, oh, the bracelet was on your booth. I know. I just need to put like little three bucks on these and I would make my money back in no time. But yeah, this one's another stretchy one. That one's really kind of cute. We have a bangle. Y'all want to play? Here. Go get it. <laughs> So, is it broke? No. Single. <laughs> They're so grouchy because Skippy's really fast, so he'll run for it really fast. And Coco's a little slower. You know, she's going to be, how old is she going to be? 10 in January? So, yeah, she's a little bit older. And as a matter of fact, I just um, changed her food up. I bought her, uh, I think it's called Wellness. I got it at Petco and it's for senior dogs and it's the cutest looking food. It's like little bitty triangles, little mini triangles. And it almost looks like cat food, but um, 
yeah, she's lost a lot of her teeth, so it's hard for her to eat the bigger food that I feed Skippy. And that she was eating like Skippy gobbles his food up in 20 seconds, literally. And she's over there for 20 minutes eating her food. So she really likes this food. And as a matter of fact, the first day I switched, started giving her the new food. Um, <clears throat> well, let me back up. The cashier said, you know, mix, mix her new food a little bit with the old food. And, um, and I did. And so she was eating it and she ate all of the new food and then first, and then she just had the old food, the old uh, type food left over. So she loves her new food. So that's good. More stretchy bracelets. I might even just group, like lot these together. Um, put a string around them and put them on my booth. There's another one of these. Looks like somebody definitely handmade these. But they're cute and fun. Carol's gift shop says my dog is going crazy with the squeaking and the barking. <laughs> right. Stretchy heaven, y'all. Oh my goodness. Surely I'll find one gem in here. Stretchy. I kind of like that one. I might keep that one. Um, this one looks like it's for a little person. Maybe a little girl made this one. It's a little bitty stretchy one. Do your dogs dream bone? Why does this sound familiar to me? What does that mean, Awning? Yeah, I'm trying to think, what's the other one called? I think the other one's called um, Nature or something. I can never remember the name of it, but it's it's expensive food. Skippy's cost like um, $19 a bag, but this wellness brand is only like $16.99 a bag. But it's so worth it. Here's another uh, pendant. It's marked Disney on the back. Dwayne says, couldn't they make dog food taste like whatever they want? It's not like we taste it to verify. That's true, right? Hey, Janie Rice. Hope I said your name right. Um, here's a funky earring, just one. What is this? Little necklace. Hey, I'm starting to wonder why I bought this jar. Seriously. What is this? This is so big. I was thinking it could be a belt, but it's definitely not a belt. It's probably one of those necklaces like you. I guess you like wear it like double, double strand like that. Oh, here's a button stretchy. Okay, I'm going to try and speed things up, you guys. What, baby? Stretchy bracelet. Looks like that one's about to fall apart. Um, Tam says my hubby wants to know where you got the jewelry jar. Uh, Goodwill. It's up on top of the refrigerator and you don't need to be eating a lot of it either. Um, what is this? Another Disney bracelet. This one has... Uh, I was about to say I need my glasses to read that, but you're wearing your glasses, Tanya. <laughs> Maybe a magnifying glass. Majored in vacation. I don't know, some kind of Disney thing. That is um, not going to be something I'm going to be selling. Oh, what's this? Here is a bangle. 
Sissy, you don't need to be to maybe three pieces and that's it. Send that Halloween candy, y'all. Yes, Halloween candy, Denise. <laughs> oh my goodness, she was getting into it this morning. And, and then her daddy had to bag it up and put it on top of their fridge. <laughs> Yeah, here's a cute little uh, silver tone cross, little pin pendant, but I don't see any markings on it. Heck, fire, no markings. Stretchy, stretchy. I'm not trying to find too little to square that for fun. For fun, fun. Julie says, Tanya, you better hug that mouse for me Saturday. I can't wait to take our gang back down. Have a wonderful time. Thank you. Yes, we are going to Disney World. My little girl is beside herself, and we are going with Nana. So it is going to be a girl's trip. We're super excited. We haven't been since uh, the first time we went, Madeline was two, and she's nine now. So it's been about seven years. Hey, Christy Winland. Welcome. Are you wishing me lots of luck for the jar? Because I'm not finding anything. I'm going to need lots more luck. Bonnie says, oh, yes, they are bad jars. I saw seven of them while I was in the States. Oh, you guys must be talking about something else. Okay. So this is just some junk I'm suspecting here. Some kind of Morona tag. Yeah. I'm thinking, you guys, I just wasted 20 bucks. What is it? Oh my gosh, it's a Justin Bieber necklace. <laughs> Madeline just said, ooh. Oh, you don't want it? No. You don't want to rock this somewhere to school tomorrow? No. <laughs> Yeah, mommy need her. Okay. Best friends. Something. Looks like something broke off. Yes, Morona is Target. I know they make clothes and shoes. I guess they make jewelry too. Is this painfully boring for you guys? This looks interesting, but if it's tangled and I don't possess the patience to untangle it. Ooh, we have something here. This is March 925. It's a little bitty. Pendant. And there's the back side. It's marked up at the top. Hey, Darlene. Yes, silver, Alani, silver. I think I'm going to untangle that one later. What does that say? Disney. There's lots of Disney pieces in here. Okay, I'll look at that later. Um, Denise says, not at all, Tanya. Jewelry jars are hard to find, find out here. So this is exciting. Okay, yay, good. Okay, don't eat no more before dinner, okay? That's enough. Okay? Okay. Um, little girl's necklace. Uh, Kay and Riggs says, I get jewelry bags in my area, no jars. 
Yeah, well, this morning when I missed out on that jar, then I went to another store and I saw um, a bag of jewelry. This one store puts their jewelry like in um, Ziploc bags. Actually, I have one here. I still haven't opened this. I know I showed Angie and Monica. I think I showed them this one. I still haven't opened it yet, you guys. I've had it for like, how long have I had this? Probably for at least a month. I still haven't opened it. <laughs> I need to open it. Maybe we'll open this next week. But yeah, there's a lot of junk piled up in here. This one was $25. So I know, and it looks like there's a lot of gold and silver pieces too. So, ouch, they just poked me. We'll have to uh, do that one next week. Make sure I'm not bleeding. It got me good. <laughs> Angie says, you're crazy. Open that. <laughs> I know I will next week. Um, thanks, Barry. Five-day flipper just sent $2. Thank you. Oh, he says you're only down 18 bucks now. <laughs> thanks, Barry. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And so when that happened this morning, Wait, Erin says, Erin Marcus says, try living close to Tanya. She buys them all. <laughs> There's somebody else that's buying them all too. And um, he beat me out this morning, but it's okay. So, um, you know, I called my husband, Kurt, and I was whining about it. <laughs> and, you know, he was just like, you know, that's life, Tanya. Life is not always fair. And um, so, you know, I had to put on my big girl panties. I told him, I was like, God, I just feel like crying, but I actually put makeup on this morning. So I'm not. <laughs> You know you're obsessed with jewelry jars when you feel like crying when you miss out on one, right? So, but yeah, I mean, what is the big obsession here? I just blew uh, 20 bucks. Well, 18. Thanks, Barry. <laughs> and there's nothing even in here. Goodness. Another little handmade looking necklace looks to be like probably a choker. It's super duper small. And shells. Good Lord. There's always shells in there, right? Shells. Where'd these come from? Like they're in every jewelry jar I buy. What in the world are people doing with these? Maybe they were real popular back, in, I don't know when, but people just get rid of their jewelry. I don't know, were there a lot of hula parties, Hawaiian parties, tiki parties? Oh my gosh, let's talk about the tiki stuff. So when I was at Petco the other day and I was buying Coco, her new food, there's this new brand of dog food and it's called Tiki something. And it's the cutest thing. There's a little pug on the front of it. You guys should like Google Tiki dog food. And it's so cute. I wanted to buy it just because of the packaging. It is so stinking cute. Angie says, how do you know? How do you know? They guy bought them all? The guy bought them all? Well, this guy is my friend. <laughs> and um, I don't know. I, I don't want to get into it a whole lot, but I was just all out of sorts this morning because of that. It really took me or threw me for a loop. I was just, you know, and I just realized, okay, you you are just overreacting about these jewelry jars. It's not a big deal. Like, and honestly, I think that's why I save some of these jars and bags sometimes because when something like that happens, I'm like, okay, it's okay. I've got a jar or a bag to go home and open if I, you know, really need it. <laughs> so it's like saving it, you know, for a rainy day. That's why I keep it. Um, or I take it. As a matter of fact, I still have a, um, a $9.99 jar that I got at the Salvation Army when I was in Austin for the green room meetup, I bought like five or six of the jars. I've opened, opened them all except for one. Um, so really I have two more jars I could open. Um, KM Riggs says, I lost out on six bags one day by a couple hours. It was disappointing. Well, how did you know? Did you ask the people that work there? Because this took place right in front of my eyes. Like, oh my God, I hope he's not watching this. <laughs> But I'm not even kidding. As soon as I got in my car, he's like, you know, blah, 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 blah. And this one's mine. I mean, what am I going to, what do you say to that? What do you say? Like, what am I going to do? Like pout and start stomping my feet and stomp off to my car and drive off. <laughs> you can't act like that. You know, we're adults. We have to, we have to not let these things bother us. 
Joanne says, wow, Tanya, please sit down. We need to talk. Intervention. <laughs> I know. Angie says, I have one jar that I'm saving for if someone backs out of the jury detective show. That's awesome. Does still look okay to you guys? Look like I was looking funny there for a second. That's a good idea, Angie. Definitely. Okay. This is interesting. It's a silver choker. I was going to see if there was any markings on it. But yeah, my friend, he knows I have the YouTube channel. But um, he, he never watches. I don't think he never comments or anything. I would die if he came in the chat. <laughs> I would just die. I would like, stop broadcast. <laughs> um, but you know, it's okay because he's a good friend and he's taught me so much just not about jewelry but just about so so many things in the reselling world so um it is all good and like my husband's like you know you, you know you need to put this in perspective look at all the things that he's taught you and the things that you've learned from him and um and he's right he's right you know and you have to share the love you have to um not be greedy and he's like you know you have all this jewelry here at home that you're not even listing what nothing is of any value to you you know it's not gonna if you, it's not listed it's not selling right so you need to stay home and just list all this crap that you have and he's right and i need to move on and quit crying about this situation so i'm not seeing any markings on this but i might look at it closer later we'll see <laughs> Dwayne says let let the air out of his tires on his car so he cannot beat you to the store <laughs> no i would never do that i wouldn't even do that to my worst enemy hey walter welcome yeah and uh i don't know if that's steve or steph but i think steph says you have to think there was junk in those jars. You dodged a bullet. You're right. You probably got the same junk jar I got today, right? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't even want to see you like, you know, he claimed it as his. So I was like, okay, you know, I just went on straight back to the books and I was checking things out and then I made my way back up to the front again. And um, I saw he had taken possession of it, right? Here I'm talking about it again. What the heck? Um, and I kind of saw, you know, I want to say it was even smaller than mine. I don't even really know what he paid for it but um yeah bye nishana bye deb yeah so another uh bracelet little puka looking shells another stretchy in my opinion they should have had 12.99 on this store tan says i'm buffering oh lord i don't know what that means But yeah, if you guys have uh, thrift stores in your area, you might want to consider, you know, of course, going every day if you have a really good honey hole, but going back more than, you know, once. Like, if you go in the morning, you might want to hit them up again in the evening time, which is what I'm going to do here in just a little bit. Uh, Karen's at the beach says, you're going to get some good finds at Disney. I don't think I'm going to have time to go thrifting. I don't know. I'd be kind of scared to go out on my own somewhere I'm not familiar with. I'm a fraidy cat like that. Um, here's an interesting, another shell bracelet with an interesting long pendant on it. Looks like some kind of Asian theme going on there. Did I say I bought that jar? Salvation Army and Austin. If I did, I meant to say Sabres. Here's a bracelet that's falling apart. Attached to a watch. It looks to have princesses on it. We got Bells, Cinderella, and who's that middle one? Oh, that's probably Sleeping Beauty of it. Um, 
Treasure Hustler says, when the video buffers, that's Justin Bieber dancing behind you. <laughs> He's cute. And look, did you guys see the, um, it looks like, you know, the album covers here on the bottom. Like, I thought that might be the Beatles. It says surfing on it. What do you guys think those records are? Oh, yeah. Now we're back to the jewelry jar thing. Mike says, uh, sounds like I need a hug. I did. Oh, my God. I'm not even kidding. I got teary-eyed. I take this jewelry jar business very seriously, you guys. Um, Carol's gift shop says a lady at Savers told me that there is a guy who comes in and takes the jars that are being saved under the registers and buys them. He waits till the cashier is gone and goes to another register. Oh my goodness. So like, you mean like an employee is saving, saving the jars for him? Takes the jars that are being saved. Oh, like the store puts them under there. That is very sneaky and underhanded. He needs to be reprimanded <laughs> and caught that is wrong treasure hustler says um beetles for sure awesome <laughs> um i have a surf vinyl for my grandpa awesome yeah so really you guys there's just a bunch of junk in here What's this? Oh, this looks like a little, oh, a little doggy bracelet. So we got a little paw there, a little dog house. And I think I saw a bone. Oh yeah, there's a bone, a little bone. That's cute. Totally sticks to the magnet. And oh my gosh, it's another Disney piece, woohoo. Jonas Brothers, rock! Woohoo! <laughs> I should send all this Disney jewelry to uh, Monica. I think she likes Disney jewelry. And here is a tangled mess of something. I might have already showed this tangled mess thing. Little Roman looking guy on there. Yep. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This one just feels gross. Like sometimes you're opening a jewelry jar and something just, it just feels dirty. Uh, Dwayne says, my savers makes you save the jar until you are leaving, probably so you don't go through it while you're shopping. That is a good idea. I'm always scared though. So you know what I do? If I find, if my hands are probably dirty from going through that jar, if I find an amazing deal, I don't care what it is. If it's super valuable and it's worth a lot of money, I'm going to pay for it right then and there, walk it out to my car and then come back in and continue my shopping. And I cannot stress that to you guys enough. If you find some jewelry or some real gold when you're out thrifting, don't ask the cashier to hold it. No, you pay for that stuff right away. Put it, pay for it, put it in your purse, pay for it, walk it out to your car, come back in and finish your shopping. I'm serious. So, yeah. I'm so happy you guys are here and hanging out with me. I'm almost to the bottom. Another necklace. This is a happy necklace. I need to be, I need to be wearing this necklace right now so I can get out of this funk. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know, like, are we just going to take turns getting the jars from now on to take them out and he's there? I don't know. This one's mine. Okay. All right. I have been warned. It's a pretty little dainty silver tone bracelet. Um... Steph says you need some 925 to get you out of that funk. I need some 14K to get me out of this funk. Dwayne asked, does Madeline like jewelry? Um, yeah, she likes jewelry. 
Um, she's one of those um, types that does, um, she doesn't like the way stuff feels sometimes on her. Like sometimes like the class might catch her hair or something. So she's not a big jewelry wearer, but I have high hopes for her. I always tell her, you're getting all of mama's stuff, you know, when I die. <laughs> she's like probably, oh God, please help me. Um, Bonnie says, yes, agree with Tanya. Get the goods paid for. Ask the cashier to hold on to it. Might offer an opportunity for them to examine it closer. Something you don't want to happen. That's right. Or a manager might walk up and see a big glob of gold stuff sitting there and want to check it out and get to looking at it. And, you know, you, you just leave yourself open to so many uh, things that could happen. Just pay for it immediately. And you know, it's not just jewelry, anything. Like if you find a super awesome pair of shoes that are really expensive and um, do not ask people to hold that stuff where you pay for it right away. Yeah, I don't think this one's marked, but I will take a look at it. And yeah, the clasp is corroding. Uh, yep. I don't know what in the heck this is, but it feels like pantyhose. like a stretchy mini person necklace. Oh, here's a little stretchy well. And we have another Jonas Brothers necklace. Uh -uh. That is it, you guys. That is the end of this jar. <laughs> this jar was not worth anything. I will probably take uh, some of the stretchy bracelets and uh, group them together and maybe put them in my antique booth. My poor antique booth. I have been severely neglecting it uh, for the past uh, couple months. I need to get busy on that. Um, Steph says clasp is corroding. So is that a sign it could be, could it be silver or gold? Do they even corrode? Um, I think it's a good sign that it's not silver or gold, but it's not necessarily always true because I have found, uh, like for example, I found a real gold bracelet um, a while back in a jewelry jar and it was very corroded looking, but it did say 14K on it and I sold it for like 125. Um, and it was pretty corroded looking. Not corroded like the green with that stuff. What's it called? Angie. I forget. It's the word starts with the V. Seems like I wrote it down because I'm always forgetting the word. But you guys know what I'm talking about. So. So Dwayne says, so let's recap the jar. Stretchy, stretchy, stretchy. Bieber. Stretchy. Disney. Jonas. Brothers. Bummer. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's very accurate, Dwayne. Bonnie says base metals corro corro corrodes, gold plate corrodes. Yes, and then Andy says verdigris. I want to say verdigris, but that's something different. <laughs> uh, Mariposa Skiss says, hey, Tanya, will you sell me the silver dog bracelet? Sure, definitely. Um, hit me up on Facebook Messenger. I'll be happy to do that. Uh, Aaron Marcus says the surfing album is definitely the Beach Boys. Yeah, I think so too. Definitely. And the other one says you're too something and it says, looks like it says Jan and Ivor. Would you have left this behind? I mean, come on. <laughs> He's so cute. I couldn't leave it behind. I mean, he, he is, just looks like he is ready to boogie and I needed him in my life. <laughs> so yeah, y'all might have to look at home for a while. There you go. Jan and Dean, it looks like it says Ivor, I-V-O-R. The other one is the mama and the papas. Yes, I like them. Monday, Monday. I think that's what they sing that song. 
listen, y'all, I, I am a hippie at heart. I should have been born in the 60s. So, Barb is laughing. She's always laughing about something. <laughs> so, what else is going on, you guys? I need to put this stuff back in my purse, my magnet, my loop. Vertigris, vertigris. I can never remember how to, the word or how to say it. Yes. So let's talk about what's coming up. We have, we definitely have, I think we have at least three people scheduled out for the um, Jewelry Detective show that we are going to be bringing you guys. And actually on November the, no, did I say November? Yeah, it is November. The 15th, I have double booked for that day without realizing it. So we're also going to be having an interview on that day. Um, you guys know Vincent Romano, and he is going to be on my channel, and we are going to be chit-chatting. And um, I think he changed his channel name. Did he, Angie? What does he go by now on YouTube? I'm trying to think. It seems like he changed it. I'm trying to think of the name, and I can't. Oh, my husband's texting me. He's probably like, turn off that video, Tanya. You're just rambling. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, so my son went to the doctor today, you guys, and we got some not so good news. So, um, <clears throat> you know, he played football when he was in intermediate school, seventh and eighth grade. And um, we discovered that he had scoliosis. And so six months ago, we had gone to the doctor and he had an x-ray and everything done. And then we were scheduled to come back again today. So we did. And um, his scoliosis has gotten worse. And so bless his heart, he's going to have to have major surgery really soon. And it's just such a bummer. Um, but he's, he's okay with it. He's like glad he's going to get to miss school for six weeks. But yeah, it's a really big deal. But the surgery he's having, you know, they're going to put rods in his back and um, he, will not, he won't have to have surgery again. So hopefully this will, you know, correct everything and he will be good to go. Yeah, my babe boy. Um, Steph says, Tanya, tell us about your witch party. Yes, let's change subject. So the witch party was good. We had a lot of fun. Um always a good time, always a good time. It's a lot of work though, you know, and I don't know, I might skip next year. We'll see. We'll see. So um, I'd like to invite everybody to come on over and join uh, my jewelry group on Facebook. It's called Thrifty Jewelry Treasures. And um, yeah, there's always interesting posts going on over there. People post their items, what they want to sell, if they're not sure about what they have. Coco, what are you doing? And, um, yeah. So does anybody have anything else? So my son has a pep rally tomorrow and he spurred on me at the last minute. He needs a white t-shirt. So I'm going to hustle down to the local Palais Royal, which is conveniently located right beside Goodwill. <laughs> so I'm going to pop in there again. Maybe I'll find a jewelry jar. I don't have a jewelry jar problem. I really don't. Not at all. <laughs> yes. Let's be happy. Thrifter says, let's go on a field trip to buy another jar. <laughs> I'll drive. Walter says, sounds like a taco night. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Taco Thursday. Steph, make sure you have makeup on in case someone steals it. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Okay, I have a jewelry jar problem. I'm not even going to lie. I do. 
I mean, I'm pretty disciplined. I mean, like I said, when I went to, when I lost out on that one this morning and then went to another one, I found a big bag like that bag I just showed you guys a second ago. And um, I was looking at it and I'm like, I am not going to drop, how much did they have on it? $25, I think. I didn't even see anything in there. I'm like, have some control. You don't need to buy every single bag of jewelry you see. <laughs> I know, we might have to get some chocolate. I might just stop and get some chocolate somewhere. I like the dark chocolate. It's my favorite. Um, jewelry in a jewelry box boosts sales. Yes, I've heard people say this. Like, if you just have jewelry that you're trying to sell, you might not always sell it in a lot. But if you have like an old jewelry, uh, a jewelry box there and display it like it falling out and over on the boxes, the drawers rather, yeah, I've heard that as a really good selling strategy for sure. Hello, SM Carlos. He says, remember a bad day thrifting is better than a good day, good days listing. Yeah. I've not been listing a whole lot, uh, but I'm, I'm going to, yes. Going on Grumpy Barb says, it's just FOMO. Yes, I, I suffer from FOMO big time, big time. I, I have no discipline when it comes to that. I cannot have a day where I just stay home and list and do stuff like that. I've constantly got to be out and about. <laughs> so, yeah. But you know what? Right before I came on, Chris, the Bonafide Hustler, was doing a stream, and he was saying, like, you don't need to be listing every day. As long as you have, like, good quality items, like he said, like 200 that you're really that you're really passionate about you know and and i think he's right i'm gonna work on that because i feel like i definitely have some items in my store that are just like why <laughs> like you ever get that message on ebay when you're looking at your store your your inventory and it's like this item has been listed for 16 months or more you might want to consider you know revising it or something that happens um, on quite a few items i need to just take them down and you know donate them because I'm just wasting my money on insertion fees. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this up because I'm totally rambling. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, hanging out with me. I know I always enjoy hanging out with you guys. Uh, so please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like the video and share it with your friends. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Oh, and I'm going to be uh, hopefully doing some videos from Disney. I mean, I know I always say something and then I don't do it, but I really, I do want to make some videos. So maybe I'll go live a little bit too. We'll see. All right. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye.